Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Ark Aberration. Got everything done here at base. I was gonna film moving everything in, but decided to go ahead and do it. Save you guys the hassle of having to watch it. Today we're gonna be working on the Reaper Containment Hut. That way we can start getting ready to get us a Reaper. So we're gonna build it kind of off on the side over there. Let me show you what we have here real quick. Went ahead and put some irrigation in. So these are just regular straight pipes, and then that's the flex pipe. And it actually fits right in between each two. And then I just kind of randomly did different things here. So we got a little bit of everything. A couple of each one, I think, actually. So it's not too bad of a deal. And then we got some water tanks here. The thing is, you can't fill the water tanks up with your skins or canteen. So those are actually totally useless. <laughs> I just went ahead and used skins and filled all these up by hand. Took a while, but whatever is what it is. We got its two preserving bins here, making up some jerky for us. Two of these, one has the Megalosauruses that we used, and that's all that's in there. And this one's kind of a mix of everything else. Went ahead and made that again. Got us a couple fridges. It's fully stocked with meats. And then this is kind of everything else. Little bit of everything in there. Kim Bench, there's our little dung beetle. I had to have him make up all the fertilizer for out here, so we'll keep him out. He's, uh, he's been working overtime. Our Megalosaurus, who's gonna be out of here soon. He, dude, I tell you what. His tail's sticking through, man. Kept knocking me off the side over there. And then that's about it, man. So it's not too bad. All I did up here was I put us a grill. Dude, you're like right in the way. Got us a grill, and that's where our feeding trough is. So that way everybody stays fed. It covers the whole area of the base, so it's not too bad. And then I think up here we're gonna, gonna kind of just leave it for right now. Over there is where we're gonna be putting our Reaper containment hut. I think it'll be safe to have it over there out of the way. And I can still get to it by, I went ahead and attached this here. I can still get up here by Ravager to it. So it's not too bad of a deal. And this, this is where it was all kind of messed up. If you remember when we built with the way that the ceilings fall together. But I think it looks cool, man. I went ahead and put our flag there from Rockwell in his head and he kind of it works out, man. It actually looks pretty good. I like it. Glad it actually turned out to something. So what we're doing now is I think we're going to build it out of glass. Since I have so much extra glass that I made, I don't want it to go to waste. It's going to be a three-chamber room. We're going to need some foundations. Let's take... Let's just take all of them. I'm not sure how many we're going to need or exactly how big I want to do it. And I think that's pretty much all that we have made. I need to make a door. A couple doors. I need to make some ceilings. Ceilings, I'll probably just do stone. I just want the glass to be able to see in. Let's take some regular walls as well. Maybe the outer walls will do in that. Grab a little bit of this. We'll make up... Do I have regular wood? I do. I did quite a bit of resource farming too, so we have stuff to build with. Um... Let's do some double doorways. So we're going to need one, two, let's just do three. And then did I have ceilings? I can't remember. I think, well, kind of way down. Let's just make some. All six. We're going to need a little few more than that. I think we have some though. Once this gets uncrafted and I can actually move. We are just slightly overweight. But I think right over down over there is where we need to go. So we need to get some of the glands for the Reaper. And we also need to build... Oh man, I need to make a, a storage. I need to make a bed. A little one will be fine. And I need to be able to grab some hide. Oh wait, we can build a bed over there. And I need a feeding trough. I think I'm missing metal, yeah. Do I have any in here? I don't think I do. I pretty much got everything from the other base moved over. I left some things, like the metal that was melted up, which we can get another point in time. I'm gonna have to mine some up. We can get that over there. Oh yeah, I was gonna look for those ceilings. Dude, where's all the ceilings I had? Did I drop them? Oh, I think I dropped them, I forgot to pick them back up. Hmm. 
And something else I need to fix is how to get from down here to up to the top without doing a cryopod. Maybe I just need to put a little... Whoa, whoa, easy, calm down. Maybe I need to put a little... Oh, I can't shoot the side, that's right. Dude, come on. I know it's hard to hit. I need to... Oh, dude! Well, I need to set something up so I can get across easier. Maybe I'll just leave one of the Ravagers up there. I don't know. Alright, well, I need to get some metal from down here anyways. So we can make that feeding trough. And I'll just head up the other way over here. Oh, that's plenty. Cool, and that should be enough of what we need to get set up over here. I also need to go through... Ooh, what level are you? Level 20. I need to make a new hazmat suit, probably two. And then we need to make a spyglass. Not a spyglass. Oh, wait, it's a weird place for a Sarko. Level 12. Not a spyglass, but a magnifying glass. We'll be needing that for the Reaper thing. Is that where I'm going? It is. Let's get a zipline ran. Get rid of this dude so he'll leave us alone. Dude, what's up with jumping on them lately? That and they're not running around here. It's like they slow walk everywhere. Not too sure. It's kind of weird. Ooh, that's a long zip line. There we go. That'll work for now. All right, so I think we need to do it a little bit further over here where it's kind of flat. We'll do it kind of in this corner here. And we should be able to build across. I need to go ahead and clear all this stuff out. And I'm hoping that the foundations will be fine. Maybe I should have brought some pillars instead. Pillars and ceilings. We'll see, though. Might be good enough. Yeah, we're, uh, we're a little bit way down here. <laughs> Poor Ravager, man. That is something I haven't seen in a very long time. We actually have a level up available. That is going to go into health. So we got that from killing Rockwell. I think we're allowed five more levels, if I remember correctly. Let's go ahead and start getting our foundations down. We'll see how much we can put down, see what we can make. It'll actually lighten the load up on the Ravager too. So we'll start it. Actually, let's start it like right here. That way it's up just a little bit. Will this hang off the edge? That's going to be too far, though. Can I pick this? I don't know. No. It's going to be just in the way. Hmm. This is kind of... Dude. There we go. I don't know. This might not be big enough of an area. So we'll have him in here, over here in the back, too. Actually, I don't need it to be perfect. And I'll have a door right here. So this will be the first chamber. This will be the, actually the last chamber. This is to be the one that I have, like, where I'm going to be at. I'll put all my good stuff. That'll be, like, the intermediate, kind of like a little area to where, in case he does get out, he actually won't get fully out. And that won't go there. Come on, dude. Actually, I think this will be fine. Can I put one more? I can. That'll be fine like that. All right, so here's what I have planned. Let me grab some walls. Let's do doorways first.
All right, so we'll go in here. Will be our first chamber. This will be like our little in between area just in case and then we'll put that one there and that one there get these outside ones done I'm gonna go ahead and do it too high just so we have plenty of headroom hopefully I got enough walls I should have enough I do gotta make quite a few more ceilings, which we have a ton of the stone, so it shouldn't be an issue. Let's grab some of the glass walls. We'll start on that. Nice. Almost done, man. We can go ahead and throw our doors out. Grab the rest of our walls. I might need to make some more walls. I don't know. Yeah, that should be fine. All right, and there we go. Whoop, one more. So I'll just get some ceilings to put on. So the plan is, in here, I'll have my bed. I'll have the feeding trough, because it should fit all the way back there. And then I'll have... I need to get a little preserving bin or something to put here because I need some medical brew in it. And the plan is, it will come in here. It'll burst out of our chest. We'll end up dying. We'll respawn in here. And this is kind of a just in case whenever I go to go in. I don't want him to come out. He's going to stay in here until he gets somewhat full grown. And the last thing I want to do is open this door to come outside and him get through to where my bed is in case he does kill me there is that chance oh my gosh the earthquake there's a chance that we will die so this is just an extra precaution to keep him out and then this door is like the last resort to keep him contained so i'm gonna make up quite a few ceilings as soon as this earthquake decides to go away and then this room will be pretty much done i need to get my stuff to set out oh get me on the ravager I think I have just about everything in here. Minus the preserving bin, which I about, might be able to make some. I'm going to need some more wood. I'll probably jump down there. Because I'm going to need wood for ceilings, too. Alright, we'll see you back in a few whenever I get the ceilings done. And then when we get our hazmat suit, we need to get that magnifying glass, mate. And that is just about it. For our little containment area. Dude, what is going on with our ceilings, man? I think I have my walls all kind of jacked up. It's going to have my seat. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to get a little bit of uh, rain in there if it ever rains. It'll be fine, though. It's just our little birthing room. So let's go ahead and get our beds and stuff set up. We'll put this one here. And then our feed trough should be over here. Should have plenty of room to reach. Preserving bin. I do need to get some spark powder. I'll grab that later, though. And then our storage. And that should be everything that we need. That way we can fully see where he's at and what he's doing. Yeah, I think it'll be good, man. Not too big. Make sure our doors stay closed. Awesome. That is a majority of what we have done. I went ahead and threw all of our metal in the smelter over there. Let's head back. I need to... Oh, man, I need to go all, back, all the way back to our old base and see about getting some gas ball so we can make some more of our suits, the hazmat suit. Probably going to take two in. I'm really hoping our, our Reaper is going to be good. Our Reaper. Our Rock Drake is going to be good. So whenever I leveled him up for doing Rockwell, 
Everything went into health and stamina. Nothing into damage, so I'm kind of worried about how he's going to do against the Reapers. I guess we'll have to see. Hopefully, it's going to be a one-time DL and not have to get another rock trait going. Actually, let's move you over here closer. Empty him out, and we'll take a trip topside to our old base. I need to scout out a place around here to put another gas collector as well, so I don't have to keep going topside to get it. I'll just put all of this into storage. Oh, wait, I don't want to put that in there. Give me my hide back, man. There we go. Nice. I like it. Awesome, and that is everything we need. How much are we lacking on gear? So 30, 50, 65, 80, 125. Actually, we might have enough. Oh, we got plenty, dude. I think we need crystals. Wrong button. What else was it that we needed? Some crystal fiber, polymer. I should have polymer still. I might be a little low on the crystal. Actually, we're making two suits, so we'll take all that. Oh, it's a slow walk. Dude, I really hope this Reaper turns out well. I'm thinking... Thinking about possibly trying Rockwell with Reapers. And Rock Drakes. Not sure if that'll work out something to play with. We'll see how much time we have left between now and Genesis 2. Oh, we got plenty of that. Fiber hide and polymer. We'll have to see. I don't know. Rockwell was a really pain in the butt for me to try to do. What was it? Fiber and what? Oh, man. Tell you what. Horrible memory. Hide. Well, I'll tell you what. Somebody had to put these on the other side of the world compared to where all the crafting stations are. Just saying. Placement is not in a very good spot for these. Now let's see how much we have left in you. Not too much. It's all kind of going bad. If I can get two full suits, I will be extremely happy. Uh, only one. So we're missing something. I'm guessing crystal. Let's grab some crystal. And a little bit more blue gems. We'll grab a stack of each. Dude, I'm out of crystal again. There's a whole bunch around here, though. Good thing. Yep, there we go. Nice. So we have everything there that we need. And then that's it. Well, we just need to make a uh, magnifying glass. So that's going to be obsidian, metal, wood, fiber hide crystal. Okay. Crystal. I think we have some obsidian. Was it wood? I think. Now they should have some metal in here. Let's, let's say, I can say let's make two, but only have enough for one. Get rid of the rest of this junk again. Put you down there, and that should be it, man. I think we are set to be able to go down and do a Reaper. I need some spark powder to put into that over there. I'll leave that in my inventory. That way I don't forget. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this one here. When we come back in the next one, we will head down, hopefully, right down over there. I believe that's where it is. And I need to get some pillars made. That's something else I need to remember, too. We'll need pillars 
to kind of shield ourselves. We'll come back in the next one. We will jump on the Rock Drake, take him down, try to find us at least uh, level 120. That's kind of where I'm going to draw the line because of the process of doing this whole thing. Find a good uh, Reaper and get one raised up and see how it goes, man. It's going to be uh, it's going to be fun. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.